welcome back to our ongoing office 365 series now we are going to look for the very last tab that is service assurances now let's see what's in there so service insurances and it changed to this dashboard so they're saying that you are not to disclose such information with it without Microsoft prior written consent so this part here I don't want to film it anymore because what's saying is by assessing or using this website about the region and industry settings uh, they don't you want a Microsoft prior written consent that you are allowed to document it or disclose information and while I'm if I show this one on video that I will be actually doing exactly what they don't want so I'm not going to do go ahead and film everything or you know screen capture let's show you because I'm not going any further so and I'm not going to the point where they sh conf show me confidential information there is nothing confidential information so I'm gonna just show this screen that you can basically uh, what I'm assuming or getting at is you can select a country you can select the industry and save it as a setting that what your organization is about and then Microsoft will make sure that you comply uh, on in uh, with the laws uh, rules regulations policies of that country country regarding the that specific industry so this is about like you can just uh, so let's not do anything that Microsoft does not want us to do that is unethical <coughs> even though it's a, a, a trial account and I have <laughs> I'm not in an industry I'm just a student but still I want to comply with the their request or you know well they were gracious enough to give me access so I don't want to break that trust so I can just show you uh, I don't even know if I am not gonna click on any link audit and trust reports you can audit compliance reports and trust document can help you perform a risk assessment cloud services to ensure that they meet your own security and regulatory requirements so this is happens is like uh, for example uh, <coughs> for customer custom report I think is done yes ETI report is done and it's available uh, so we can go and say there but this basically this and the compliance manager Uh, did control let me read this so again it's saying compliance that uh, if Microsoft service is complying uh, comply with your po company's policy or your company's policy comply with the law of the land wherever it is for example I'm gonna give you an example the United States uh, everybody uh, like uh, has a social security number it's a combination of uh, three three digits then two digits and then four digits it like everybody who is legal here gets that number <clears throat> and it is issued by the government and so when you file taxes you file that on on that uh, number and that's how your benefits are uh, calculated so when you get retired you have to have like I think it was 40 work hour and you are awarded like four work hour for every year you work something like that so that's your benefit so when people retire at the age of 60 65 they get the social security benefit that's basically you um, you can call it as your pension retirement whatever like in in, in my country it's like pension people get uh, for government service right but here because everybody's paying uh, tax to the government no matter whether they working uh, uh, private or whatever 
so if they get to a point when they are not doing well in their old age they can go and apply for social security and they get uh, that money or check back so that number is uh, number one thing uh, that uh, people try to steal because that number is required for a lot at a lot of places to verify your identity and for opening credit card taking loans and all that so us has a requirement or i was told or I learned that those social security numbers cannot leave us soil so it's not that you if you're a company and your data center is for example in mexico france um, or canada or france china wherever you cannot store them over there so you have to have a data store data <coughs> um store here data bank whatever uh, here uh, on u.s soil so you store that uh, numbers uh, social security numbers here you process them here so they never leave your soil so it's just a, a, a layer of security so it's not breached uh, overseas so these and different countries have their own laws that we don't know but uh, microsoft hired people um, lawyers engineers learned this and implemented them into office 365 uh, gi give you another example two countries they are not friendly to each other so obviously it's natural that those countries will not want microsoft to store uh, their citizens data into uh, other companies um, soil Oh, sorry other countries soil so it's like if they have a data storage over there or you know um, um, a server or whatever they don't want it over there right so these are like all the compliance thing and uh, we saw like how re regulate regulator uh, regulations are implied uh, in different industries and you know uh, then you have a different policy in United States and you have a slightly less restricted for policy in let's say Mexico but uh, you are dealing with US customers you um, you or the government don't want you to store that data process it in Mexico that is United States related just to avoid those rules so it's another compliance thing so that's <laughs> Microsoft like service assurances that is about and Microsoft just won a, a pretty big about two months ago like around Christmas or before that Microsoft uh, secured uh, some um, cloud-based uh, agreements licenses basically it was like yeah it is secured it was something like that I read in the news that was better than uh, Amazon so Amazon could not uh, secure those contracts or whatever and Microsoft got them so it's all comes down to how secure Microsoft has made it uh, its plat platform for the companies to uh, store their data and their users um, access over the cloud so this is it I'm not going with clicking any of these links uh, but then most of us will never be working here it will be much uh, uh, more senior level management uh, working closely with the system admin on these all right so let's wrap this video here if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i will see you in the next one